Oh, that one felt like a nicer fish. That one felt like a nicer fish. Something hit it to knock the tail over the hook. We'll try again. Bring that swim bait in. There we go. I think we got a decent little perch right here. What do we got size wise? Are you, are you 10 inches? 10 inches. All right. Good fish. Good way to start. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It's me, David, fishing Southern Maryland, back on Nan's Cove after all of the wind that we've had for the last three or four days. Wind's been coming out of the east, we've had some rain along with it, but today, at least here on Nan's Cove, there's no wind. I've come out today looking for some decent sized perch because I want to take some fish home with me. Just taking this small little swim bait. Got it on a 1 16th ounce jig. Casting it out, bouncing it off the bottom. I'm waiting for a bite. And that's a little guy. He's not gonna be a keeper. Yeah, that's not gonna be a keeper. Nope, not a keeper. Out a little further from the marsh. That's number three and even smaller. So they're just getting smaller as I go. But I still haven't made it out in... I still haven't made it out to the river yet. I'm still inside the cove. Okay, so I want to take a pause in the video real quick just to express my sincerest appreciation, thanks, gratitude, call it whatever you wish, for all the people who've been commenting recently. For the longest time, I'd be making videos and I wasn't getting a lot of comments. But recently, I've been getting some fantastic comments. No one so far has called me an idiot for the type of fishing I do or the questions I ask, and I appreciate that. I mean, I taught for 32 years in a public high school, so I've been called worse. But everybody's been keeping it really nice. Not only that, but some of you are starting to answer questions for other people who are commenting, and I think that's fantastic. That's what I want to see when it comes to fishing. People giving advice, people encouraging each other. I think it's fantastic. So I wanted to say thank you to each one of you who's making comments and encourage you to keep doing so. Let's get back to fishing. Another small perch for number four. Get that out of your mouth, buddy. Come on. That swim bait back on there. Uh, 
There we go. Probably about the same size though. For number five. Yeah. Almost looks like the same fish. <laughs> I would hope he's not going to get caught that quickly. Mm, that's a, about the same size though. Yep. But that's number six for the day. Number six, but nearly not big enough to keep. If you've been with the channel for any amount of time, and thank you to the new people who have uh, subscribed, I don't know, do you actually go back and look at things when you subscribe to a new person? Do you go back and look at previous videos? I kind of do. Anyway, if you've been with the channel any amount of time, then you know that I'm predominantly a catch and release fisherman. I enjoy going out, catching different species, and then letting them go, and then maybe coming back, maybe catching the same fish. I don't know. I don't keep a lot of fish. In fact, I think I can count on two hands the number of fish that I've kept this entire calendar year since January. Put and take trout, I'll keep those. Invasives, snakehead, blue catfish, I'll keep those. And occasionally, I might keep something else. In fact, earlier this week, fishing down, down on the jetty there near the house, I kept a nice spot just for lunch that day. But the first thing I have to do is the fish has to be a legal fish. Again, from this video, was over in Ocean City, caught a very nice flounder. It was an inch and a half too short. Didn't keep it. I've caught multiple redfish or puppy drum this year. All too short. Not legal to keep. Croaker. Won't keep them. Again, they got to be legal and you got to decide, yes, I want to take that fish. And that sometimes is the hardest part for me. You know, I want to take home two, three fish. And the first thing I have to do is decide, am I going to take the first one? You can't take home two if you don't take home the first one. And that's where I sit sometimes. Hopefully, we're going to get some today that are big enough to take home. Again, I'm looking for some white perch. That first one I caught, 10 inches, could have taken that one. But again, I had literally been on the water for five minutes. On my way back in, if I catch him again, I'll take him. Hopefully, I'll have two or three more before that. What is that? It hit it right at the boat. And that's a little puppy drum, but oh my goodness. It hit that spinner bait like a freight train. Come here, buddy. Right here at the end. Nice and fat. Only about 14 inches. But look how fat you are. Hit it like a freight train. Right there at the boat. My goodness. All right, so my original goal when I came out today was to take some perch home with me. Caught that first one, threw it back. Maybe I should have kept that one. Anyway, seven fish on the day. Fantastic morning, air temperatures, probably in the mid 70s light breeze it's a fantastic day here in southern maryland hopefully it's good for you keep making those comments i enjoy reading them i love the interaction that you all are doing and until next time tight lines